Hey guys, it's GuysGuruHD here, and in this video, I got you guys a ROM overview of the Paranoid Android ROM for the Google Nexus 4. Keep in mind, this is only the Google Nexus 4, not any version of the Galaxy Nexus or the Nexus 7 or 10. So, if you're interested in downloading this and flashing it, check out my How to Flash This ROM video, and also how to get the tablet user interface mode on it. So, let's get started on this ROM overview. Now, you guys can see that the Paranoid Android ROM, I think, is probably the only ROM right now that gives you the tablet user interface on your Nexus 4. And when you get the tablet user interface, you'll, of course, see the back home and recent buttons on the bottom left-hand corner. There are a bazillion modifications that you have with this ROM that don't come with stock. A couple of those are the changing the color of the soft keys. So to go into settings, basically what you do is you go and tap the bottom right-hand corner and you guys can see uh, your Wi-Fi, your battery, and then your settings. So hit settings, and you see your tiles. You can change the tiles that you see here by going into settings. And you guys see also this different settings app right here. Uh, more of a tablet version of it. So you go into customization on the left-hand corner, and you can see themes right here. As of right now, there is only one theme, but as time goes by we'll see multiple themes we also see some lock screen customization rotation you can do um, see-through home screen widgets shortcuts and um, a bunch of other settings too right here we see status bar and um, we can edit what we see down here so we can choose to see a small AM or PM down here and I'm going to zoom in on that so right here we see 120 PM right there it previously said only 120. We also see choose the notification count, but since there's no notifications right now, I won't see any there. There's also a bunch of other quick settings, which I, which like I said earlier, you can change the what you see in, in tiles. So I can choose to enable location NFC and screen and screen rotation, but eliminate Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and battery. So now, of course, we see airplane mode location and NFC and auto rotate, and it got rid of the things that I didn't want. Now, I haven't noticed a significant difference in battery life, um, but keep in mind, I don't have data on this phone yet and uh, or cellular service. Hopefully, I can get a prepaid plan on this with T-Mobile or Straight Talk or someone like that sometime soon. So battery might not be um, great, but... I'm pretty sure I haven't noticed a huge difference in the last several days that I've been using this ROM. We also see, like I said earlier, uh, the hybrid properties and tablet user interface. You get a bunch of different options, and here, of course, is the soft key color change. And basically what this PA color does is every time you hit one of the soft keys, it'll change to a different color. So, for example, if I hit home right here, it would change the color to blue. Um, you do have to reboot your phone to do this, but... For the sake of the time of this video, I'm just go not going to do it, and I'm just going to give you an overview of what it does. So, of course, there's also some uh, four different tablet user interface modes. There is the phablet, which is basically what you get with the Nexus 7, where the soft keys are directly in the middle, smaller, and there is extra space on the sides. So, that's an overview of the customations and everything. And like I said earlier, battery, I haven't noticed a significant difference, but you guys can test that on, out on your own. It's been extremely smooth. I haven't noticed any lagging or anything like that, but just because it, this uh, ROM is still in, develop, in a developmental phase and it's more of a nightly right now, I wouldn't recommend this for a daily driver yet. So I would stay on stock, but definitely um, back up an Android for this ROM because it is a lot of fun to mess around with and um, really just use in tablet mode. I think it gives you a lot of extra screen real estate because you don't have the notification bar up here. It's kind of a two-in-one double whammy with the home screen, or excuse me, soft keys, and also the notification bar right there. So I really like this ROM. Um, it's tough to give a rating. I'll definitely give a rating once they get out more milestones and um, daily driver builds for this Paranoid Android ROM. So stay tuned for that, and 
I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my how to make an Android backup, how to flash this ROM, how to get tablet user interface mode, and all of those videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.